and welcome to another Zoo to You. My name's Tierney and I'm an educator here at Zoo Boise. One of my favorite animals is the penguin. Did you know that there are 18 different species of penguins? Zoo Boise is home to several Magellanic penguins. Magellanic penguins are found along the coast of South America, down here by Argentina and Chile. Now, a lot of people are surprised to learn that penguins are actually birds because people think, well, penguins don't fly, so they can't be birds. But some people say penguins happen to fly through the water, and that's what this zoo to you is going to be all about. If you have ever been swimming, you've probably tried many different ways to swim to make you go faster, slower, or maybe even spin in the water. Penguin feathers, wing shape, and body shape all work together to make it possible for penguins to fly in the water, or as we like to think of it, swimming underwater. Let's investigate and even experiment as to how penguins are able to swim underwater so quickly. First, let's take a look at feathers. Here's an example of an Andean condor feather. Notice the size and shape of it. How would you describe it? This feather is shaped and sized to help the bird fly in a gliding fashion. Now, let's take a look at a penguin wing. Can you see the feathers? It's a little bit more challenging to see, so let's see if we can get a closer look. Here you can see just how many tiny feathers are on a penguin wing. In fact, penguins have about 100 feathers per square inch of their body. Try this. Take a square inch of paper, a square where each side measures an inch, and then, using a pencil or marker, make 100 dots on the paper to get an idea of what 100 feathers per square inch might look like. These small, tiny, tightly packed feathers not only help keep penguins warm and their skin dry, it also gives the penguins a smooth body surface that allows penguins to easily glide or fly through the water. Next, let's take a look at the shape of the wings. Here's a crow wing. Let's compare it to a penguin wing. What's different about the shape of each wing? Try this. Get a pan or bucket of water and two pieces of paper. Fold each piece of paper using an accordion fold. Fold one piece of paper open like a fan. Fold the second piece of paper so that it stays like a folded fan. You may even need to tape it closed. Now, take both pieces of paper and dip them into and move them around the water. Which piece of paper moves through the water more easily? The open fan or the closed fan? From where I am, it seems like the folded fan moves much more easily in the water. Which one of these paper fans do you think would make a better model for penguins trying to fly underwater? My vote's for the folded fan. And if we look at the penguin wing and watch it swim underwater, we can see that penguin wings are very compact and very stiff, much like the folded pan or even a paddle, which helps to propel the penguin underwater, change direction quickly, and paddle the penguin up to the surface when it's time to take a breath. A penguin shape also aids in a penguin flying through the water. Try this. You'll need some clay, two tall clear jars filled with water, and maybe a buddy to help you. Shape the clay into two shapes of about equal size, an oval and either a square or a triangle. At the same time, drop the shapes into the water. Watch to see which shape reaches the bottom of the jar first. Looks like the oval. This is why most penguins aren't square shaped. Having an oval streamlined shape lets water move easily over a penguin's body, allowing it to swim faster. Flying underwater and swimming at fast speeds can help a penguin survive by enabling it to quickly escape predators like sharks and leopard seals, chase after their food such as fish, and head to the surface of the water to get a nice breath of air. Having tiny and compact arrangements of feathers, a stiff wing, and streamlined body shape are all part of the penguin's ability to fly underwater. Wow, feathers have a lot of different uses for birds like penguins, even if they don't help them fly. The next time you see a bird, go ahead and take a look at the shape of its feathers or how many they have and think of what they might use them for. Go ahead and post your ideas in the comments below. By the way, do you know why penguins carry fish in their beaks? They don't have pockets. All right, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye.